Okay, so now we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus and apply it to a situation where we want to find the area underneath a, uh, uh, underneath a curve. So we want to set up a definite integral that yields the area of the region and then evaluate that definite integral. So when you evaluate a definite integral, you're going to get a value. So what it actually allows us to do is find the area underneath the curve from so, some lower limit to some upper limit. Okay, so if I look at this graph, um, I want to find the area of this colored region using integrals. Uh, first thing I need to do is define my A and B values. So A is my lower limit and B is my upper limit. So uh, we're, we're integrating with respect to X. So I want to focus on just the X values here. My low limit is when A is equal to zero. So I start when A is equal to zero. I'm not going past that. Then I'm going all the way up to when B is equal to two. So I'm not going past uh, positive two. So I have my lower and my upper limit. So now I can actually define my integral. So let's set up the integral. I'm going from A to B, which is from zero to two for the original graph, which is F of X. So that's what we consider my integrand. So negative two X plus four. And DX is what I'm actually integrating with respect to. So here is my definite integral that actually calculates the area of this underneath this curve. So we're going to find the antiderivative from here. So my antiderivative of negative 2x is negative 2x squared divided by 2. And then we're going to add 4x. And then we're going from 0 to 2. Okay. Now before I evaluate, I can actually simplify this. Negative 2 over 2 reduces to negative 1x squared plus 4x. And once again, we're going from 0 to 2. So I'm going to evaluate my integral. So the first value we put in always is the upper limit. So I have negative 1 times 2 squared plus 4 times 2. And then I'm going to subtract the evaluation when I put in my lower limit, which is actually going to end up being 0. So I get negative 1 times 0 squared plus, let's read bracket, plus 4 times uh, 0. Okay, so this is what I have. I'm going to find our value here, okay? So negative 1 times 2 squared is going to give us negative 4 plus uh, 4 times, oh, I think I put a 0 here, and that should be a 2. My apologies. So that's 4 times 2, and that, so that should be 8, okay? And then minus, when I look at this expression, well, negative 1 times 0 squared will just give us 0, and then 4 times 0 will just give us 0. So we just end up getting 0 in the end. So my answer is negative 4 plus 8. Uh, which is going to end up giving us positive 4. So that represents the area underneath this curve. Now, honestly, we could have just used a formula to solve this uh, because this is a triangle. So we know the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. My base would be 2 units. My height would be 4 units and then divide by 2. So almost, it's a lot easier to do it this way, I'll be honest. But, um, you know, we're not always going to work with linear graphs like this. Uh, another thing I guys want to show you here, and you guys are going to like this a lot, is showing this on a calculator. How can we show areas on a calculator? So uh, going on your calculator here, I um, we're going to turn it on, first of all. And I want you to go to your Y1 uh, window, or your graphing window. And you're going to put in the original graph here, which was linear, negative 2x plus so when we graph it, we should see a nice linear graph with a negative slope. There it is, okay? So we want to find the area from 0 to 2. So to do that, I'm going to second trace, calculate, go to 7. You see that little option there? It has the interval symbol because that allows us to find areas underneath the curve. So um, my lower limit is going to be 0. My upper limit is going to be 2. So press 2 for upper limit and then press enter. And look at that, it colors in that region for you. So it automatically can generate areas underneath the curve. And by curve, I mean curve and the x-axis. And your answer is going to be equal to 4. So you can also check your answer using your calculator.